All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And uh, I want to say peace to the 12. And today's lesson is going to be entitled, God's Got You, you know, and God's real name is Yahweh, all right? And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Now, let's get it. Kick it off with Joshua, chapter 1 and verse 9. It says, Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithsoever thou goest. All right, so, you know, we can't be, you know, afraid of uh, any of these things, man. You got plagues, fires, famines, pestilences, wars going around right now, you know, brewing up, you know. You got fires everywhere, you know. You got people, dro you got people dropping to uh, illnesses, you know. But the Lord said he got you, man. All right. Now let's get let's keep going. Let's get uh Romans. Let's go to Romans. Chapter All right, this is Romans 8 and 31. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? So if the Most High is with you, nothing can be against you because it's going to lose, man, and fall. All right? As it was, as I just said, man, we're we not worried about the things that the world is afraid of, man. We're not dismayed. All right, now let's go to Psalms. Let's go to Psalms 121 and 7. This is Psalms 121 and verse 7. It says, The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. All right, so we're going to be preserved from all the evils on the earth. Well, really, the, the elect is going to be preserved from all the evils on the earth. The hopeful elect, you know. See, the elect doesn't have to worry about any of this stuff, man. You know, because they're in the Lord's right hand. Or they're going to be in the Lord's right hand. Let's get First Timothy. Uh, bear with me. First Timothy. Uh, six and twenty. This is First Timothy six and twenty. It says, uh, next page. It says, O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane. And vain babblings and oppositions of science falsely so called. Alright. Right, what is that speaking on? That's speaking on a lot of things that they, they, they call science, but it's really not, you know. I'll give you an example. The Big Bang Theory, obviously a lie, you know. And they use all these things to, to try to discredit the most high. The Big Bang Theory, evolution, them uh what's the other one? Whatever one, man, you know, you, you, you get the point, man, because uh, this goes back to uh, this goes back to uh, Hebrews 12 and 16. Let me get that. And who and who is and who makes these vain sciences? Well, let's, let's see. Hebrews 12 and 16. Matter of fact, I start 15. Looking, di looking diligently, lest any man fall of the grace of the Most High, lest any root of bitterness spring up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. You look up the word profane, the word profane means to be, basically you take out any uh, belief in the Creator. When it comes to things, man. And we know who does that, all right? Tell me what nation tries to make it to where they can do anything and that the Lord didn't create anything. Esau, Edom, all right? All right, that's why they that's why they try to hit you with the Big Bang and all this. Make you think all this is random, man. But anyway, let's keep going. Let's get Psalms 40. And, let's get Psalms 40. I believe the third verse. This is Psalms 40 and 3. And he hath put a new song in my mouth, 
even praise unto our God, many shall see it in fear and shall trust in the Lord, man. You know? So you trust in the Lord, we're we not worried, we're not worried about all this other stuff, man. We're not worried about what the world is worried about, man. Let's get let's go back to Romans. Let's go back to Romans. First verse in the twenty second or the first chapter in the twenty second verse. Alright. I'll start at 21 though. Because that when they knew the Most High, they glorified Him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, man. And that's a lot of these people. I, I, I don't want to hear that Bible stuff, man. You know? And they, and they go in all manner of madness, man. Then they say, what's your star sign? Are you a Pisces? Or they, you know, or they say, uh, no, nah, I'm worried. I'm worried about, you know, what NASA's got going on. Or let's see what, let's see what new, let's see what a new needle can, 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 uh, help me. Or the new pill, man. But, uh, let's keep going, man. Let's get Psalms 146. Psalms 146 and verse, um, three. This is Psalms 146 and verse 3. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. Alright? And the Son of Man, when, they, when they're speaking of that, it's speaking of, you know, these heathen. Alright? Because Israel are the sons of God. Alright? So put no trust in them. And don't put no trust in these princes, man. Many of damn politicians and, and these so-called leaders, man. <laughs> we don't put, we don't put it's not trust in them, man. I can't stress that enough. Let's go to Jeremiah 17 and 5. This is Jeremiah 17 and 5. Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Lord. Alright, so if you trust in if you trust in man when all this calamities come on, you're going to be cut down. You're going to be destroyed, man. And a lot of people are going to do that. Just like when they implement that that uh, CHIP, a lot of people are gonna get it. Why? Because they trust the man, and they told him to get it. All right. Let's get Exodus 15 and 26. This is a good one, man. This is Exodus 15 and 26, and said, "If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in His sight." And will give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes. I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. All right, so you know, if you do what the Lord has asked you to do, you know, how about Shimmy How about will, and you, you know, you're going to be protected from disease, man. You're not going to hear that on the television. You're not going to hear that from your pastor that's at the church, you know. You're not going to hear that, man. But as he just said, he'll protect you from these diseases. Let's get Psalms. You know, they might take my video down just for saying that, too. Let's get Psalms 103 and verse 3. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities. I'll get two. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. So once again, that that's that's who you put your trust in because he has your life, your 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 faith, your fate is in the Lord's hands anyway, man. The right and the left hand people. All right, let's get Exodus twenty three and twenty five. My phone's been on some on some madness, so it's probably gonna cut off. I'm gonna have to do a whole other recording, but we'll just do it in parts. All right. So this is Exodus chapter 23 and 25. I think that's where I want it. Yeah. All right. For thine angel shall go before thee and bring thee unto the Amorites and the Hittites and the Parasites and the Canaanites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, and I will cut them off. Thou shalt not bow down to their gods, nor serve them, nor do after their works, but thou shalt utterly overthrow them and quite break down their images. 
right? And ye shall serve the Lord.